What's up guys, it's Dmo43 doing another video on my channel. Today we're going to be going out Funko Pop hunting down to my local vintage stock, plus going down to a High Five Retro, just to see if there's any new pops coming out today. I'm hoping to get some cool pops, because I really don't know what's going to be in store. And yeah, with that being said, if you guys could, make sure to like and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. As of this video, we're like almost to 400. If you guys could get us to 400, I would really appreciate it, it'd be an honor, and I would love to be at 400 with you guys, so... Yeah, so with that being said, let's just hop right into this video and show you guys when I get down to vintage stock. So right off the bat, I found they had this Anmu. So that's a great find. They also have like Donatello, Leonardo. We also came down to vintage stock before we decided to go down to over uh, to, what's his name? Hot Topic, or no, not Hot Topic, before we go down to High Five Retro. But I wanted to come and look at Punko Pops here. So we got like these, like uh, My Hero, and then we'll go down to Ma. Uh, High five retro after, but so it's like we got Ibarra, Twice, Beverly Marsh, Lucky, Fumikage, Fat Gum, the Juzo Hananuki, Tetsu Tetsu I don't know how you say his name. How do you say his name? Then okay, then over here they have all these ones, and it's like pretty cool. Honestly, they're pr what? Susumaru. Mm, I don't have Susan Maru. Don't. They have like a lot of the Aladdin pops. Let's see. More just kind of just again panning through, and then I'll do my like hardcore search after. They also have like Susan Maru. They have all these. Carnage was another spotlight, and then if you go up, it's just like a There's bunch Maki. of random. They do have Maki. It's a bunch of random. Again, I'm just kind of like walking through, kind of panning by, and then this way. Again, just trying to the best of my ability. No, oh, really? I wish it would have. They doesn't have like Wreck It Ralph, like an old school Wreck It Ralph Vulture. Uh, right there. And if I pan behind me over here, even more. There's just so much, so many pops today that are just like all over the place. So I'm like, kind of, I'm gonna have to do more digging on my own to see what I can find, but. And then one more section, if I just walk over here, and they have like a Nezuko that tipped over, they got like a, who else do I see that stands out, like Borto doing with the Chakra Blade, Minato, I see Tenya, the new Tenya back there, uh, a bunch of these ones, all the way up here, and then up here, and that's every pop, which is crazy, so... When we get on to High Five Retro, I'll show you guys, but that was a great start. So like always, down at High Five Retro, I always voice over because of the fact that it's way too loud, usually. And so I usually voice over. But there's some decent stuff today, honestly, in this anime section. Like, see that Borto with the glow, the, doing the Shadow Clone? But it's, a, it's actually a bad box, so that's why I don't ever showcase or pick it up. But there's a lot of Kawakis. And yeah, so it's like, okay. There's also, like... The Madara, there's also though there's there's a lot of cool pops. That's all I'm gonna say. It's like a decent amount. There's some fairy tale, some samurai jack, some cowboy bebop, or bebop, not bebop, bebop. There's a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. There's some Jujutsu Kaisens, which are some pretty cool ones. There's also like Hunter Hunter, the Naruto Hello Kitty, which isn't a set I collect. There's also up there is like my, uh, what is that? At? Guns and Roses. This is the Dragon Ball section, and there's like, there's nothing Pokemon as well, and yeah, nothing too crazy, there's also like the AOT Pops right there, there's a, quite a bit of the AOT Pops, especially Hanji, there was an interesting one, Avatar has some cool Pops, there, every set has, and this really has some decent Pops, but most of the time I'm usually going for Naruto ones or whatever, and then we transition down to the Marvel Room, which is basically still nothing crazy, some cool stuff, like, it's a lot of just all the Marvel Pops, and I always like to just peek in there sometimes, because I'm like, well, maybe they have some, something I have missing from my set, you know what I mean, to add to the collection. And most of the time, no, it's, well, I mean, yeah, most of the time, yes and no. Like, there is some stuff, but at the same time, it really depends, and sometimes I'm like, well, I don't really know what sets to fully, like, I really don't know what sets to fully complete, and what sets are like, I really don't like that. I do want to complete Guardians. I will say Guardians is one of the sets that I probably will try to 100% complete because I do enjoy Guardians quite a bit. I also probably will finish off the uh, Cross the Spider-Verse because I just need all the exclusives. All right, guys, so we are back from the couple stores. As you can see, you got the haircut as you saw in the short yesterday, but 
Now we're back with some Funko Pops I ended up picking up for today's video, which I got some really, really good deals, specifically over at Vintage Stock, who had a buy one used item, get another one free, between the $25 value. So I definitely went and decided to start there. So yeah, we'll start with that. That's the first store we'll start at, which, uh, yeah. So let me move the bag, I can grab it real quick. And we'll start off with what I got for free, and then we'll pick the item I showcase. Which the item I got for free is going to be Zoom. I decided to start my Flash set. And I know with these older, like, Flash Pops, they weren't the greatest of molds. Because, again, they're older. So you have to kind of get into the mindset that they're not like a... They're not the greatest of molds. You're not going to be like, oh, that's a really, really, really nice mold. You're going to be like, okay, decent mold. Not actually decent. It's okay. But it is Zoom. And I do love Zoom as a character. So I thought, and seeing in there... I was like, why not add Zoom to my collection? Especially because I wouldn't mind starting my Flash set to get all of the Flash Pops. Because I do love the Flash as a show. I know the last season was terrible and it kind of went downhill a little bit. But it's like the Arrow. I love the Arrow and I love the Flash. Two two great shows that, you know, I've enjoyed that went through with and watched them all. So two of my favorite, like, DC shows, even though they're kind of goofy and kind of odd, like, weird. But I do love it. So I decided to go for Zoom. And I decided that I'll start, because he was there, and I was like, if we get Zoom, then we can start getting the rest of the Pops, and I'll start collecting all of the Flash Pops if I can for the set. And he's a cool character. I do enjoy him, especially when he gets, when he reveals himself who he is. It's a crazy plot twist. Like, that whole, like, arc, like, at season was crazy. But the only thing I would have wished is this had some blue lightning around it. That would have been really cool, but again, it is an older Pop, so they weren't really doing too crazy of stuff. But a little bit of blue on there would have really made it that much more crazy. And yeah, because of that, now I just need to get pretty much everyone else. Which there's quite a few. There's not too many, but like I said, quite a few of them. But that wasn't the main pop I found that I wanted to get for today's video. The pop I ended up picking up was going to be Enmu. I was able to get Enmu. Look at that. And this adds to my Demon Slayer collection. And it's a good box. It's a cool pop. I do love Enmu. I think it's cool. And now I have, uh, you know, another character for my collection. Because it's, like, super cool. And it adds to all the other Demon Slayer Pops that I have. And it's just another one of the demons I needed. Especially because this is a 2022 Summer Convention Limited Edition. So it means that it's, like, it's, it's a little bit harder to get. Because it's not 2022, obviously. We're 2023. And it's cool because it's like, okay, now I got Enmu. And now that I have Enmu, now I really... it's just, Every day I get a little bit closer to being done with my Demon Slayer set. And hopefully one day I can be done with it and say, hey, I got every Demon Slayer pop. And really the goal is so that when if I can finish in 100% a set when brand new stuff comes out for you guys, I can just go in and showcase that immediately because all I need is the new stuff and my collection will be already complete. And there won't be anything I'm still looking for. Because currently that's how it is right now where I have to go to the stores and I still, if I find like this, where now I have Enmu, so now I won't ever be looking for an Enmu. I'll be done. I won't need it anymore. Same as like... Zoom. Now if I ever go for a flash pop, if I see Zoom, I don't need Zoom. I could just, you know, be done with it and continue trying to find the other characters. And that's kind of how I like collecting. I, I like that part of the aspect. And that's all I got from Vintage Dog. That was what I picked up for the, the buy one, get one free. And yeah, that. but like I said, that's what I like about going for pops like that. Is Once you get it done, you're done. You know, that, that set's complete. You never need that pop again. You see it, it's cool, but you just pass by because you already know you have that pop. And that's what I do love, especially for Demon Slayer. It's like the fact that I already have the pop and now I'm done. So now I don't need any more end moves. I'm completely done with end move. I can go for the new pops. And I do have a, some really cool pops. It's like I have a lot of footage that I've added for some other videos. But that's I, you know way down later down the road. But I really would wish that some stores would start dropping the Stranger Things pops. Because really only ones that have done it so far have been uh, Hot Topic and Box Lunch. And Box Lunch actually is going to have... I have a really fun video for NYCC now that I'm actually talking about that. Hopefully I can get some cool stuff for that, because NYCC is going to be crazy. Not too crazy, because there's only certain specific ex exclusives that I really care about, and that's specifically High Evolutionary, Ray Filet, and the uh, Makimo and Sabito 2-pack. That's the only ones I really want to go for. I know there's some other ones. I, would try I wouldn't would mind trying to grab a Momo Soda if the GameStops actually start selling the Momo Sodas, but GameStop seems to never sell. And now that leads us over to what we went and got down at High Five Retro, with the first one's going to be the Kawaki right here using his uh there's Kawaki using his karma I it's actually his karma and then his like um robotic scientific or the scientific ninja tool arm I believe and I believe yeah, it's him activated his karma which 
this isn't the uh, him transforming into Kawashiki. I don't even think there's a pop for him in Kawa Kawashiki mode. I don't think. And now he can't even technically... Again, I haven't finished the show, so maybe he does by the end of the last episode. I'm pretty close. I'm at, like, 265. So I only need, like, like 29 more episodes or something like that, and then I'm done. And if I could get finished, that'd be lovely. This also is a glow, so we will show the glow later. But yeah, this isn't the Kawashiki mode. This is just him. It's it's Kawaki using the karma, which I find is a cool pop. I do enjoy it. I'm like, okay, this is this is a cool pop. I decided to grab it finally because I've seen it a couple times now. And I decided to go for it while it's still pretty cheap because it's only like a $12 pop now. And I was like, let me try to go grab it. It's cool because it's Kawaki. And I do enjoy Kawaki a lot as a character. I've actually gotten to the point where I really do like Kawaki. And specifically now, it's like, okay, now I'm getting almost to the end. I want to get to the point so that when the time skip comes out, I can just watch the time skip when it starts dropping and follow the time skip and whatever else is happening with the time skip. But I also just been love Kawaki a lot. And I actually have the common Kawaki. I got him. He was actually my first Boruto pop, I believe, because I picked him up before I even knew who he was. I picked him up for the show because I saw it at... Uh, down at five below and i was like okay let's just get it so i can start the borto collection now i'm actually getting pretty close to being done with the borto set mostly i just need like sumire borto the rasengan i need uh the glow in the dark barrier mode uh the rest of the hokages which is just minato tsunade minato tsunade kakashi and um naruto and i definitely probably will try to pick up a minato uh, the old school ones, which I've seen a couple times, but their boxes were in terrible condition. It was like, because there's Boruto doing the Shadow Clone, which I've seen once and the box was terrible. Sarda holding a kunai, which was in terrible condition. Mitsuki doing Snake Lightning, I believe, or something like that. I also know there's a Mitsuki in Sage mode. There's a Chase of Naruto and of Sasuke. There's also a, the Boroshiki and Chase Boroshiki. Chakra Blade, Chase Chakra Blade. Uh, Kawaki, there's a Glow Kawaki, which I need to grab. Uh, is that anyone, everybody? I think that's all the rest of the Boruto Pops that I could, that I could think of. Of course, there might be a couple that I'm blanking on, but... Actually, I need Common Boruto from the time skip. I'd also need that one. Then I should have every Boruto one, I believe. Something like that. I don't know exactly, so don't quote me on that. We'll have to, I'll have to look, look through my collection and then to see. But then my last pop of the day that I actually got, which is super cool, and as to my Naruto collection, is going to be the Hashirama and Tobirama 2-pack. That is such an awesome pop I was able to get. It's an ex AE exclusive pop. It's Hashirama and Tobirama. They look metallic. I don't see anything about this that says they're supposed to be metallic, but they definitely look like they're metallic. I'm going to have to do some research on that, but they're like, suits look metallic. It's such a cool pop. This is now. This is a cool pack. I now have the brothers Hashirama and Tobirama, and it looks like he's about to do wood release, and Tobirama looks like he's about to do flying Raijin. And now this is such a now this pop this is a great set, and I love this. This is so cool. I specifically love Hashirama and Tobirama. I think they're two really cool characters. I would love to know more about. I know we got that little bit of a like backstory onto them when they were telling their story of why Madara is going like and being bad. But, like, I wish we could get a little bit more. Especially if we could get the, the Toby Rama fight when he got, when he died. Animated would be crazy. But I actually really love this. And now I have more Naruto characters to add to the collection. Because my goal is to finish up. Naruto is the one that's a little bit harder because there's a ton of Naruto ones. And especially because I'm so late to the game that I'm getting, I got a lot of the new ones. It's just getting those older ones that's, like, a little bit of a task. And I will say it's a little bit of a task. Like, I'm, I'm making progress on this, but, like, Gotta keep pushing with that, trying to get the rest of those pops. And, like, especially these two. I never thought I was going to get these two, especially for a reasonable price. I thought I was going to be, like, expensive. And I actually got them with good pricing, so that was cool. And my hope is that I can, you know, continue like these guys to get some of the older pops. Same with, like, Borto and, like, Demon Slayer. Try to get all the set done so that one day for you guys as a content, I can say this is my entire collection. I've done a complete collection up to this point, which... It's kind of difficult when they're dropping so many pops because now they have so many Naruto. There's like a new Naruto. There's Deidara, Akatsuki, Orochimaru. There's Black Zetsu, Kisame. Is that all they added? I know I got the Sasuke already. The Sasuke do... Is it... I think it's Sasuke building a Susano, I believe, or something like that. Or he has like the, the purple flames. I don't really know what that exactly is scenario. 
again, I am, and I know they they're making a glow one from Funko Shop where it's like where his eyes are bleeding, and then he has still same pose but the same. And so I think that's all I'm, for the common wave, from the new common wave, anyways. I don't think there was any exclusives that I have. I've gotten Mike Guy winking. I know FYE is supposed to have Mike Guy in chair or in wheelchair, but I don't know what happened to that. I saw people's order getting canceled, so I don't know if that's actually coming out or what's happening with that one exactly. But I don't really know. But either than that, let's go right to my room and showcase the glow first and then tell me where I'm going to put these guys' pops. So, sadly, on this Kowaki glow pop, it's the defective one I got, so only his arm a little bit glows, so you're not seeing it very bright because it's already dying out, but that's the glow. Terrible Kawaki glow, which you can barely really see. We put Zoom over here with his uh, arrow buddies, because I don't have his flash ones, but we do have like the arrow buddies with Zoom right there, chilling. So yeah, so now let's get to the other people I put in the room in a little bit of a different spot. Enmu in the corner, she decides she's going to be all alone, or he's going to be all alone over here in this corner. Then if you pan this way, I put I decided to move Levi and put Sokka with his bang. Put the Hashirama and Toyorama brothers together, and then Kawaki, you're vibing behind with the Spider-Mans, which, because I got a defective, I'm not going to count it as a bad glow, because the glow looks cool, it's just a defective glow, because that's, I guess, the way that they did. So, now let's get to a question of the day, because, yeah, I put everybody in a spot, and I really don't mind the Kawaki, because of the factor that it's still a great mold. Like I said, not too upset with that, because the mold, again, wasn't too bad, it's a great mold, it's a cool character, and it looks different. So I'll just assume that it's Kawaki using the Karma and not a Glow Kawaki using Karma. And maybe one day if I see another one and I'll try to test out to see if it's a better Glow. But as of this current, I don't, I'm not too upset with that one. So, yeah, so that leads us to the question of the day, which is going to be, who is your favorite Boruto character slash pop? And I'd love to see what everyone's opinions are. I'll tell you guys what mine is tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys are so awesome. We're almost to 400. Like I said in the intro, if we could just hit 400, that'd be great, especially before November, because then it'll be my birthday month, and we could have a fun video. So I'll see you guys in tomorrow's short plus Friday's video. Peace.